The testing being performed is a latex agglutination for streptococcus group antigens. For those group antigens, we will be looking for whether it's streptococcus group A, group B, or C. Group A, streptococcus pyogenes, group B, streptococcus agalactiae, and strep C, streptococcus constellatus. Strep B, a lot of times I tell students, B is for babies. That's something that you'll have to include on your report on why it's important to find group B in babies. And the testing will be performed on these wells, but first there has to be an extraction step. The extraction step is as follows. We have two different specimens I'm going to be testing. First, there'll be an extraction step that utilizes acid. So we're going to add our extraction to these. And some diluent and some acid. We're going to pick organisms from our plate. I'm going to pick some organism with this toothpick from the plate. You can see the organisms on here, the colonies. So I'm going to pick some of these colonies off of the plate. I'm going to put these into the first well or reaction cup I should say and then I have a second organism bunch of colonies I'm going to take some of those colonies off of the plate and I'm going to put that in the second reaction well these are going to be mixed I'll discard those toothpicks Now, that's going to be incubating to extract the antigens, and you'll tell me what kind of antigens they are for group A and B. Are they protein? Are they nucleic acid? Exactly what are they? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the latex, while this is incubating, I'm going to put the latex on our um, card here, so we have antibody for A, latex coated, antibody for B, and a polystyrene latex, and C. So we have two specimens. Specimen one will be at the top. O and E, and specimen two will be across the bottom. Okay, and we're testing A, B, and C with number one, A, B, and C for number two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is neutralize our acid with a base. After we neutralize that acid with the base, we're going to mix our specimens. Going to add them to the reaction sites. Number one. Number two. So we have two specimens. Specimen number one. Specimen number two. We're going to mix these together and look and see if we can detect agglutination. So we're going to come here and do number two. And then Cross and do number one. 
on and mix number one, A, reaction with A, reaction with B, reaction with C, And now we're going to look for agglutination to detect whether or not we have a type A streptococcus, a type B streptococcus, or a type C. I will mix this for a moment and then we will make our decisions.